Okay, right. Mountain Blade Warband. It's one of the two games that came up in the random draw. And it's... Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe a bit unfortunate that I didn't really check that out before, but uh, I didn't realize that there is uh, no really s no real story mode to Warbound, so... <laughs> um, there is... As far as I can tell, no real way to finish the game. But I'm sure we'll find... Um, find some kind of closure. Uh, welcome adventure to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. I thought this was a fantasy game. Well, that does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all of the same goals. And in fact may have a much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. Interesting. Well, you scared me off from playing a female. Um, and yeah, I mean, a impoverished noble. You came into the world a son of a declining nobility, owning the house in which they lived. Only, only the house in which they lived. However, despite your family's hardship, they afforded you a good education and trained you from childhood for the rigors of aristocracy. Yes, oh, the rigors. Life at court. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as <laughs> a street urchin, yes. Well, I guess we're gonna go with a page. As a boy growing out of childhood, you were sent to live in the court of one of the nobles of the land. There, your first lessons were in humility. <laughs> yeah, I bet. As you waited upon the lords and ladies of the household. But from their chess games, their gossip, even the poetry of great deeds and courtly love, you quickly began to learn about the adult world of conflict and competition. You also learned from the rough games of the other children, who battered each other with sticks in imitation of their elders' swords. Then as a young adult, life changed, as it al always does, you became... Oh my god, a troubadour. No, no, no. Um, I'm gonna be a squire. Though the distinction felt sudden to you somewhere along the way, you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were named, a squ named squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the chivalric ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warrior stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals and usurpations, of men who used guile as well as valor to achieve their aims. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision? What made you take this decision was... Mm. Yeah, good question. Lust for money and power, of course. Uh, only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. To everyone else, it's clear that you're now motivated solely by personal gain. You want to be rich, powerful, respected, feared. Yes. You want to be the one whom others hurry to obey. You want people to know your name and tremble whenever it is spoken. You want everything... everything and you won't let anyone stop you from having it. That sounds awesome. 
You have been awarded the right to carry a banner. Cool. <laughs> and what lame banners they are. White swallow. Awesome. <laughs> everyone, everyone run from the white swallow. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna do realistic. Okay. Uh, Okay. Well, it's not very charismatic. Uh, oh, that's not a lot of points, is it? Each point of the skill increases hit points by two. Okay. We have 44 hit points, so that sounds a bit crap. How many skill levels could I get? Three. Oh, this is great. I can't. Oh my god. Why have they done like this? So I have to reset everything? Each point to the skill increases melee damage by 8. Throwing damage. Use powerful bows. Weapon master. Okay. That sounds awesome. Inventory management. But I guess looting and inventory management sounds like a good synergy. Uh, party skill and leaders skill. So as I understand it, uh, party skills stack if you have several members in your party. And leadership skills are only used, it's only my skill. Prisoner management. Number of prisoners, we want prisoners. Prisoners are good. Shield. Um, weapon master. Um, more inventory. One hand, I guess. Want to be able to use a shield. a bit 
Brackish. Um, <laughs> yep, I think we're getting somewhere now. hair that we can get. That's pretty disgusting. Yeah, lots of nice hair dudes. Thought I saw some wood. This is pretty disgusting. Isn't there a worse mustache? Yes. Is that the thinnest mustache you have? Uh, wait. I can't go back, so I have to go around all the way. It's pretty nice, yeah. I like the half open mouth also. Definitely helps. Young and hmm. Hmm. Actually, your face. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> oh yes, here we go. <laughs> oh Jesus. Possible chin, yes.
Uh, yes. Oh, let's find the perfect hairdo for this guy. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, looks like a monk. No good. Haha. <laughs> yes. I think we're done. Success. Okay, so... You hear about Calradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power and glory. Or glory, okay, so we can't have both. In this land, which holds great danger and even greater opportunities, you believe that you may leave your past behind, start a new life. You feel that finally you hold a key to your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and uh, that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Calradia and its kingdoms, you join a caravan to Praven in the kingdom of Swadia. Yes. You come by caravan through the heartland of Calradia, green shoots of wheat, barley and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil of the rolling hills, and on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on the spring grass. Occasionally too, you catch sight of one of the great war horses that are the pride of the Swadian nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt out farm bears witness. You keep a wide berth of the forest where desperate men have taken refuge. And it is some relief when you crest a ridge and catch sight of the great port of Praven, its rooftops made golden by the last rays of the setting sun. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Praven and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Okay. So let's not waste any time here. Uh, so smirky. Okay. Now I did do... Um, the short tutorial before this. Uh oh. Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. Whoa, shit. Come on. Wah! Wah! Okay. At least that works. Wah! Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Seriously. Okay. Um. Maybe I should do that to the again. Okay, left click to strike, right click to block, left click to strike, right block, oh, I think I understand that, okay, now I have inversed, yeah, okay, so I, I have inversed controls, Whoops. Okay. Inverse controls. Mm -hmm. Thrust. Okay. Cool. 
Go for it. Hit me. Okay. okay. Inverse controls. Bah. That doesn't work. Oops. Okay. Cool. Let's try that again. I am ready. <laughs>